Today we're going to talk about putting 3D printed objects into resin and in this case I put some pew pew shells into resin and it got a lot of bubbles so let's jump in and have a look what happened and how to prevent that. Where I am it's really hard to find bullet casings and so what I decided to do is to actually 3D print them. I was able to find a number of Pew Pew Designs on Thingiverse, that's a website where you can go and get 3D models. If you haven't 3D printed before, there's a few steps you need to do. The first thing is obviously either model or get a 3D model, that's what I did here from Thingiverse. The next step is to put it into something which is called a slicer, and this tells the 3D printer how to print the actual model, and then obviously you print it, and we get our end results like these bullets here. I didn't manage to capture it on film but prior to this I gave these a light sand and now I'm applying a coat of thick gold spray paint which has a bit of a gloss to it and it hopefully should replicate these pew pewels. You can still see the layer lines a bit from the printer. Uh, I could have taken it another step and used a lot of filler to fill in before I printed but I'm quite happy with how these came out. Now this is the bit where I didn't think it through. When you do resin there's a number of ways you can get bubbles. The first one being in the mixing and those bubbles normally rise to the surface and you can pop them by burning them off. Uh, the second thing is if your object that you're putting in has any air. And of course these 3D models are not 100% solid. They have gaps in them and of course they trap air. So when they're in the, the resin, bubbles from them or air from them can escape. These bubbles are a lot harder to get rid of and really only left with using a pressure pot which compresses the bubbles so you can hardly even see them being the only way to remove them from the resin. Of course I didn't think of this at the time and I also don't have my pressure pot yet so that wasn't an option. I know the people who use the real pew pew shells fill them up with resin first and let that set so that there's no air in them when they're put into the mould and that is a great way to ensure you don't get bubbles. So I guess for me in the future I'm either going to have to print these pew pews as solid or I'm going to have to get that pressure pot sorted out so that it can compress these bubbles. I hope you found this video on learning what not to do when you put 3D printed objects inside a resin mould. If you like this video and it was helpful please give it a thumbs up, I'd love for you to become a subscriber. If you subscribe put subscribe down in the comments and I'll respond to you. Thanks very much and until next time, catch you in the art lab.